All right, Lyle Collins. <laughs> back when he signed with the Bengals. I told Joe Burrow, your new bodyguard is in town. No one's touching you. Well, Joe Burrow is on pace to be sacked more than 100 times this year, Matthew Berry. Are you calling Lael Collins a uh, liar? Are you saying he's liar, liar, pants on fire? He's a good promoter. I'll say it. A good promoter. Listen, it wasn't all say, good. When you say on no Sunday. one's going to touch you, you know. And then you got to face that... Micah Parsons. Yeah, that's incorrect. It gets, That's fact gets real. Correct. Things so get real. I think much like I was wrong on Cole Komet, Lael Collins should come out and say I was wrong on Lael Collins. <laughs> <laughs> now that, that money's guaranteed, though. So. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Plenty. By the way, so is mine. Ha, there yeah, you go. Boom. Me and Collins. See the game? There you go. What are you going to do? It is what it is. Sorry, NBC. You're stuck with me. Uh, what are we doing here with this Bengals offense? <sighs> Listen, it's you got to be a little fearful right now what's going on, Dude. specifically with Joe Burrow, but also the design of the offense. They're long scripts, dropping them deep, taking too long, and he's, he's getting hit a ton. He's done. Joe Burrow sacked 13 times in the first two weeks. That is obviously the most in the NFL. This is coming off a year where he was the most sacked quarterback in 2021, 51 times. He is on pace right now to blow that mark out of the water. You see the numbers for Burrow, three touchdowns, four interceptions. The times he has hit is just out of control. Only 17.4 fantasy points per game. That is 13th right now. Obviously not where – I know you no. actually – you were Look, lower on Burrow coming into the season, I, to be I fair. Was, I, yes. I was definitely lower on Burrow. I couldn't, I couldn't understand why on earth he was being drafted as a top five fantasy quarterback on Yahoo. I will say this, though. All, there are a lot of reasons why I said I did not like him as a top five fantasy quarterback this year. The protection wasn't one of them. Yeah. That was the thing they were supposed to solve. Jokes about Lael Collins' contract aside, the fact of the matter is, is they spent big money on guys that we thought, you and I in com combined, totally. included. Like, I mean, it wasn't just the Bengals. Like, you know, like, I wasn't sitting there and like, oh, that's going to be a bust sign. Like, I no, this looks I'll good. own it. Like, I thought – this offensive line, I thought, wow, they really improved their offensive line. So that wasn't an issue that I had. I, but uh, look, you're moving forward. Like you're still using Joe Mixon. You're still using Jamar Chase. You're you're still, um, you know, it was nice to see T. Higgins, who had the concussion in Week One, came back, caught the game tying touchdown um, or whatever the touchdown, you know, the score that helped them get the two point conversion. They, Tyler Boyd caught the tying two point conversion uh, against the Cowboys, but. Uh, I thought that was positive, but this offensive line issues aren't going away. Uh, Burrow makes me nervous as a as a if he's my only quarterback. I I I don't know. I mean, I by the way, they're at the they're at the Jets next week. Like that's not a pushover for that offensive line. Like you're like, oh, the Jets, the one and one Jets. By the way, yeah, miracle Jets. They, it was a miracle, right? Exactly. Point three percent chance of happening, and, but it did. It did. I like, but I mean, but we've talked about this on this show. Like, for all the Jets, the Jets still are a work in progress, but it's a legit defensive line. The Bengals lost to the Jets at MetLife last year. Yes, they did. That is a good point. I remember that. It's, not, it's not the get well game it appears as. A little bit of a mirage. Right. Like, Bengals legit are looking at a potential 0 3 start. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, I'm, a Tom, I'm just going to own this right here. A couple things. I'm a Tom Brady stan. I'm a believer. I'm a, like, when you bet on Tom Brady, and if you bet against Tom Brady, you lose. I'm also, by the way, I also work for Tom Brady on some level because I have this deal with Autograph, which is a company that, that Tom Brady owns. So I'm just owning, okay, like, so bias, like, I'm not objective when it comes to Tom Brady. I'm just 100% owning that. So what do we do with Tom Brady? Because I got to tell you that uh, we, a lot's been made about the offensive line issues coming into the season and some of the losses that they've had over the last two weeks. And man, oh man, did he get beat up against the Saints. Like, he was not getting the protection that Tom Brady needs. No, the line's taking a step back. Uh, obviously, they are throwing a lot less these first two weeks compared to their numbers in 2021, averaging about 12 fewer pass attempts per game. That's right. a gigantic margin. Now, the glass half full approaches, there's no Chris Godwin right now. This is a unit that's still trying to gel together. Julio Jones didn't play in this one yeah. either. Mike Evans gets suspended, gets thrown Kicked out. out of the game. Uh, and by the way, literally while we're in the commercial break, got a breaking news alert from the Fantasy Life app. NFL Network reporting that Bucks wide receiver Mike Evans is suspended one game. Suspended for one More game. More bad news. So, so, right. So now you're, 
we don't know if he's getting Julio back. We don't know if Godwin's going to be back. We don't know if um, uh, he's not going to have Mike Evans next week when uh, the Buccaneers play at home to Green Bay who are now, you know, feeling good about themselves yeah. Packers offense. And that's a really good defense and a good defensive line. I mean, you know, I mean, like, Preston Smith, get after you. So, um, like, are, is Tom Brady still a set it and forget it QB1 for you fantasy-wise? I don't think so at all right now. The Bucks are showing you under Bulls that they are content with playing really good defense and running the football. And in real football, there's nothing wrong with that. In fantasy football – that has a big impact because this is one of the most fantasy relevant offenses across the board. I had Tom Brady as tw- a quarterback 12 coming to this game. Obviously, he finished well below that tough game for him against the Saints. Um, but that's not a QB one, and so I, I, I agree with you. Like I don't, I don't want to again. I'm, I'm a, st- but like I do think that for his health, for Brady's long term health, because the Bucks, by the way, not pretty, but they're still two and zero. They're still among the favorites to get out of the NFC yeah. to the Super Bowl. They'll get healthier, right? Um, they'll get healthier. I will be. I do wonder if Tom Brady calls up Gronk and it's like, dude, get off the cruise or wherever you are Put the and way get back down on. here. Put yeah. the way because Gronk is again one of the, for all the partying and the and the touchdown. The, he's a great blocking tight end as well. He's yeah. one of the best of all time. So I mean, like, I just wonder if. Um, but I think you are right until. They get Julio and Godwin and Evans back. Feels like this is going to be a much more balanced, much more conservative offense. He doesn't run, so you really no. need big passing volume for, for Brady to be that guy. And at least initially, it doesn't seem like you're going to get that from this offense. Disappointing spot here for Russell Gage as well. He played a lot of snaps, but just didn't turn in production. I thought he was going to have a bigger game uh, than, he end up, than he ended up having. But by the way, as bad as the Bengals and Buccaneers offenses have been in terms of disappointment fantasy wise. I think there's there's potentially no offense that got as much hype that has been as bad as the Denver Broncos. Uh, total disappointment right now. There's just nothing there, right? There's nothing that Russ has not been good and Russ does not run anymore. No. So if Russ no. isn't running anymore, the ground he has to make up throwing needs to be there and it's it's actually regressing at this point. Russell Wilson, who, you know, one of his calling cards was his, his efficiency, his accuracy. This is such a great quarterback. And yet, through the first two weeks, he's 23rd in the NFL. He is bottom 10. Russell Wilson, you know, Mr. Unlimited, yeah. is actually very limited in pass completion percentage. He's averaging 58.9%. He is bottom 10 in the NFL in pass completion percentage against Seattle and Houston. Like, it's not like he's playing no. like the 85 Bears twice in a row. Seattle and Houston. Scary. And he's averaging less than 10 points a game in the first half of games. Like, they're getting up to these slow starts. Um, they, they are not moving the ball. The best means of, running the, of, of moving the ball for the Broncos has been through Javante Williams. Yeah. And for whatever reason, they won't free Javante Williams. They've still got Melvin Gordon there. Melvin Gordon has been fine as well. But, like, like I tweeted this out yesterday. Um Despite the fact that Javante Williams was averaging 6.7 yards per carry, the, like the Broncos had a third and one they needed to convert. At that point, Javante Williams, it was, um, it was in the, I believe it was in the fourth quarter. Javante Williams had 10 touches, just 10 carries for 67 yards. 6.7 yards per carry. I did that math in my head just all by myself. Killer. No, no, no cap. Uh, and, and you know what happened? They gave it to Andrew Beck. On a uh, uh, like end on around, a, on an end around, like this converted tight end on a like a option play. Hackett's been a disaster so far, a disaster. But that's our co- that's our coach. That's if you're if you're a, if you're a Russell manager, fantasy manager, if you're a Cortland Sutton guy, if you're a Jerry Judy Who's guy, also got hurt. Albert Quig, uh, yeah. uh, Quig Benone, um, you like that's our guy. That's what we're stuck with here. Um, yes, Jerry Judy left this game early. We will see how – hopefully we'll have more news by tomorrow yep. uh, when waivers happens. I, Cortland Sutton's good. Yeah, Cortland Sutton was good. I think he'll still be productive. You're still starting uh, – you're still starting, uh, obviously, Javante Williams here. But, again, just like we say, like, I don't know that Joe Burrow or Tom Brady are set it and forget it. You're not even thinking about it. Fantasy quarterbacks, especially given their upcoming matchups with – right – is, is Russell Wilson, you know, like, again, I, I, I mean, they're home to San Francisco. That's the Sunday night game right here on Peacock and NBC. San Francisco's no good defense. It's no layup.
No layup. Here's the thing. If you drafted Russ, which was obviously some decent capital, are you at the point where you're thinking about streaming options? Is that how, how bad these first two weeks have been and then the matchup against San Francisco? I think it depends on what the streaming options are, but if there's a Jared Goff or a Carson Wentz or one of these guys that, that actually been productive for two weeks, I think you're suddenly thinking about it. In a position, Burrow, Brady, Russ, positions that originally when you left the draft, you're like, I don't need to worry about it. Yeah. That, I got that done. Now you're like, uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, Cardinals have been a disaster as well, but the fact of the matter is is that they still, it was ugly, but they bailed you out at the end. James Conner, apparent, the news is, is that it doesn't look like the ankle injury is going to be that serious. That's we'll good. update that as we go along as well. When we come back, week two, winners and losers. That's right. A lot of rookies. A lot of rookies. Fun Sunday. Perhaps one fantasy host. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotoworld, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.